Hey guys, and welcome to the commentary track from Murph's Fooked Up Day. I'm Sean Phillips. And I'm MJ Kelly. There's me riding a bike. Yeah, this was the first time that we'd ever shown Murph on a bike. We always thought about doing a scene with a bike, but we never, you know, it just took us a while to figure out, well, we didn't even figure this out. This was a user-submitted script from, um, you know, the user we listed. This is like the first script video we've done. We're working on one today, which is really crazy and odd, and we're trying our best to you know, do exactly what they say. If you're curious, yes, that's my bike. And yes, it is. I know it's an older bike. Don't I, don't harass me because that's a really good bike. And Oh, this scene took forever to do. It's like, I, I think, remember each time it went wrong, I think once during one of them I got a phone call right when I was about to start. <laughs> it wasn't easy to try to, um... I think it turned out fine the way it's like... Ugh. It did. I, I don't think it's it's like a... You've seen a cartoon. I really... We've never done, like, a crash before. Crashing and falling down steps are not easy. I know. We usually don't do stuff like that. I didn't... I wonder if there was some kind of, like, in-depth, like, some real deep symbolic meaning behind some of this in the script that we didn't know about. <laughs> Ugh. I wasn't sure. We just, like, took what, what there was there and tried our best to do something that made sense out of it. We added, like, one or two little things to it to try to make it flow better. Well, we, I think we put, like, posted the original script so, you, so everyone could see what we had to work with. We always end up in these woods, though. Like, same many, ones. Same old, same old woods. The first time I think you saw them was down in a summer camp show, and then... Yeah, that was, like, the first one with the with the wig. Yeah, I know. But the, remember, the, the only time we went to another woods was in Dufresne's back, or Return to Dufresne. Return to Dufresne. Yeah, there's that, which I was real upset we didn't get all, the whole thing right, it said in big red letters, and not all the letters were in big red. I know. Said, I, I, the guy said he liked it. I just I could understand if I wrote the script, I'd be disappointed if not all the letters were red. We did this though, didn't we? Film a bunch of other videos this day, like yeah. A I, don't, ton I, of I, stuff. I don't even remember. Do you? Not exactly. Did we all. get drunk later that night? I don't think so, but I just don't remember everything else we did. Hmm. There's a bunch of stuff. Is that rope? This was difficult though, and then and that part coming up when I cough was actually real, and then you just said, "Oh, let's just keep it. It's funny." Yeah, I did. It's it's a real cough. I just it made, it looked so funny on the um, the tape. A lot of people ask what this song was. It's like a really hard to find weird song. It's not Tangerine Dream. It's like a, a band similar to them that I don't think was as well I known. I love Tangerine Dream. I love them forever. This um that opening song, "Take Me to Paradise." Originally, I said. Couldn't you find there's like rip-off music, like Pee-wee music? Well, I had we wanted to use, I wanted for the to use it scene. from this movie that was this piece of crap from the '80s that no one knew about, but I lost the DVD. And that scene, I know there's a scene in the opening where kids riding a bike, and it like, and the music is so, so much like a rip-off of Pee-wee, so we tried using that instead. But I, I just ordered that DVD, so I got it, so I can so we can use it for something else sometime. What, didn't we add in the, the dead body thing, or did did was that already in the script? We added that. And the funny thing about this whole experience here was we thought. I forgot my glasses at one point, I so I was holding my hands in my face going... I thought that would have been funny to show that. It's like, wait, I knew you didn't forget them. They were in your pocket the whole time. And we didn't want to walk all the way back home. Like, I was willing to run back and do it, because I think tw two times once when we were filming in the woods, we were in that rancho thing. We didn't have to run back twice to get stuff. No, it was lust for blood, I think. We just kept forgetting things and forgetting things, and you had to take that little bike and pedal all the way back and... All the way up, back up to the, to the house, then go back, and then go back again... And people would walk by the woods and look at me like, what is this guy doing back here? He was waiting for me. I think I was covered in blood at one point, or covered in a bunch of shit. You sure it was Lost for Blood? You sure it wasn't the Rancho video? Maybe it was Rancho. It was one of them. This was like an erotic tune I used. But and the just, idea was you're supposed to like probably have a broken leg. and have Or to be, be a little crippled to... or something, because you know, like, you crash like that. Because what's funny, what gets us in most movies is it's like, wait a minute... How can this person be okay after this? So we decided not to, like, screw with people like that. They're like, yeah, you know, he's... But in the next episode, he'll be all right. And it's funny. You made a good point. This wasn't in the script, but it's like, this is like something Don would do to him. And we I changed it, because we didn't want to walk all the way to 7-Eleven and do 7-Eleven again. Yeah, that. We, we, we should have just, like, a, you know, implied it instead. But <laughs> this wasn't in the script. This was really funny. I think the, this was the second take. The first take, I fell over laughing. So I hope well, you like the first of many yeah, user-submitted like, you know, scripts. It was odd doing it since we didn't write it, so thanks. And feel free to submit us more. Thank you.